Hello everyone, I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about the value of capacitor to generate maximum starting torque in case of single phase induction motor. In case of single phase induction motor, we have two different types of motor. One is a resistive split and one is capacitive split. In this video lecture, we will study about the capacitive split single phase induction motor and we are interested in finding value of capacitors for generate maximum starting torque and circle diagram will be very much helpful to find or to approach to calculate the value of capacitor for maximum starting torque. Now let us start uh, with circle diagram. We have x-axis and we have y-axis as usual we take y-axis as a voltage axis we have phasor OA and that is a ISM which is starting current of the main winding and it is making an angle with voltage axis and that is theta M if we take AB parallel to our y-axis and AB that can be equal to V divided by RA. V is applied voltage and RA can be assumed as a total starting resistance. And if we draw a phasor for starting current of the auxiliary winding in case of capacitive split induction motor, we know that uh, starting current of the auxiliary winding is a leading current because of capacitor connected in series with the auxiliary winding. We have phasor AD for the starting current of the auxiliary winding. With diameter AB, and if we draw the locus of starting current of the auxiliary winding that is AD then it will be a circle meanwhile it is uh, making an angle theta A with the voltage axis it is a leading value and it is a circle if we draw with uh, phasor AD locus of phasor AD with diameter AB then it will be a circle and phasor sum of both the starting current that is ISM that is starting current of the main winding and ISA that is starting current of the auxiliary winding and then we have total starting current and that is IS. If we extend our OA phasor and if we consider it as a torque line then maximum starting torque is possible if we draw a perpendicular from the extended OA line and if it is passing through the center of the circle theta m that is same angle so we have extended OA line center C on the diameter AB and now if we draw a perpendicular which is passing through the center C and connected to point D then DK it gives maximum starting torque and we have to find value of capacitor for this purpose so with this circle diagram then the remaining part is very mathematical from the geometry of the circle diagram as well as from the trigonometry we can able to calculate value of capacitor for starting for maximum starting torque and that is dk so from the geometry of the figure one thing is very clear that angle theta A that is equal to 90 degree minus theta M divided by 2. 
if we take tangent of theta a that is tan theta a and uh, we know that sin square plus cos square is equal to 1 so if we take uh, sin divided by cos that is our tan so 1 minus cos square theta and divided by 1 minus sin square theta theta a if we transfer in terms of theta m theta m is an angle of starting current with the voltage axis for the main winding then we have 1 minus sin theta m and divided by 1 plus sin theta m if we transfer our values in terms of uh, impedance we know that sin theta m that is xlm divided by zm so if we introduce the values of sin theta m and that is xlm that is a leakage reactance of the main winding and divided by zm zm is a total impedance of the main winding and then if we simplify then we have zm minus xlm divided by zm plus xlm and again if we simplify we get rm that is resistance of the main winding divided by zm plus xlm suppose we call it equation number one but at the same time we know that 10 theta a that is xc minus xla xc that is a reactance of the capacitor and xla that is a leakage reactance of the auxiliary winding and divided by ra and let us call it equation number two now if we equate equation number one and two in both the equation the values are for 10 theta a so if we equate if we compare then we have an equation that is xc minus xla divided by ra is equal to rm divided by zm plus xlm now we are interested in finding the value of xc and therefore xc that is a reactance of the capacitor then it will come to xla plus RA RM product of RA RM and divided by ZM plus XLM so with this equation we'll be able to find a value of XC and that is a reactance of the capacitor once we have available the value of XC then we know that XC it is equal to 1 upon 2 pi FC where C is capacitance and uh, we are interested in finding the value of capacitor so C that is capacitance is equal to 1 upon 2 pi XC so with this we can able to find or we will able to calculate the value of capacitor to generate maximum starting torque so thank you for watching my video keep watching Thank you very much.